Yo, yo, yo. Wanted to make this video today. The first of the first video I'm making of this type on my channel. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be making a lot more of these kinds of videos and just showing you what I really be getting up to on a normal day. Yeah, you've seen the litness, you've seen the yacht party, cola, and you've seen jet ski. But I don't want to purport a fake lifestyle that I'm not living. Yes, I am obviously living that lifestyle, but what I mean is that that's not my everyday. In the UK, the type of life that I was leading was that I'm working, do you know what I mean? I'm putting in work, I'm waking up early, I'm putting in that grind, I'm getting straight to it, do you know what I mean? I'm locking in. And just because I'm here in Thailand, and yeah, I'm now living this digital nomad life, I don't want to purport a fake lifestyle that all I do is be on a jet ski and doing whatever I want, do you know what I mean? And just be, and just not be working any time at all because that's not what it's like like right now like right now it's currently 2 p.m i'm here i've been up early since about 11 a.m and i've just been locking in yeah i woke up a bit late today went out yesterday um but i'm just locking in the whole day i'm just gonna be here working by my laptop i'm currently building a course for you guys called the digital nomad blueprint so i'm just working on that and that's what I'm mainly going to be focusing on today. Yes, being a digital nomad so far for me has been quite enjoyable. I've been living my life and doing great things and experiencing and, you know, just being free. However, we still need to lock in and, and get to the work, man. And this is who I am as an individual. I don't want to purport something that is not 100% me. I'm going to keep my channel 100% real and authentic and do things that I do. Not going to be changing up just for content or just to say that I'm living this so life. Because at the end of the day... <clears throat> Because at the end of the day, yes, I have taken a big risk to quit my life in the UK and come out to Thailand, but it doesn't now mean to say that every day I'm just going to be, you know, living like a holiday because I live here now. It's different to being on holiday somewhere where you can afford to not work and be away from the grind and fall off and, you know, overindulge. But right now, I'm really trying to entertain a working life balance where I'm still enjoying in new ways. So me enjoying life might be going down to patio or going to Kolan for the day, hopping on a jet ski and being by the beach. But then that's the same as me, but on the weekend in the UK, Saturday, I might go link the mandem, I might go chill out, I might hit a food spot, for example, I might go Turtle Bay with the friends, with my friends, for example. And then Monday, I'm still back to work. Sunday morning, I'm still waking up early, going gym and locking in and getting to work. So this is the type of lifestyle I'm bringing with me, or mentality, should I say, I'm bringing with me from the UK over here to Thailand, man. So. Yeah guys, let's just, we're gonna lock in man, that's it man. Four hours straight, got a bit of a headache. Um, got a bit of a headache. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go for a swim, because why not, man? Clear my mind a little bit, chill out for a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna get back to doing some work. This is kind of my life now, man, which is crazy to even think. You know? Like, Less than a month ago, I was working in a job that I didn't even... No, it's crazy, man. Less than one month ago, I was working in a job that I didn't even really enjoy. In central London, with bad weather, sometimes negative people. And now... Need I say more, do you know what I mean? So it's even... Still doesn't even really feel that real for myself. Like I'm still adjusting. One thing I have noticed though in this kind of like journey being a digital nomad and stuff is that you really need to make sure that you cultivate a strong mental mind frame, you know? Because I'm staying currently at my friend's house and it's good to talk to him and catch up and bust jokes with him. But a lot of the time I'd be spending it by myself, you know? Like just in my own space, 
in my own thoughts. Uh, what you don't want to do or get in the habit of, sorry, what you don't want to do or get in the habit of is having vices because you're someone who's not able to just be still and be by yourself and be within your own energy, your own thoughts, you know? We all know people who probably are addicted to smoking weed or getting drunk or having a certain vice because they can't stay still and be at peace with themselves and their own thoughts and I don't really want to do that so I've had a lot of time to reflect and think you know about my life what I want to do what type of man I'm becoming in this journey moving up to Thailand and yeah it's just made me that's all I can say reflect a lot you know but reflection is not a bad thing and neither is being by yourself if there's one thing I can teach you guys today is that there's a difference between loneliness and solitude loneliness is when you're experiencing negative emotions and feelings because you're not comfortable being by yourself did you expect your your lifestyle to be with people or in alignment with other people so when you are by yourself you don't really like it because it doesn't really sit right with you being alone however solitude is when you're in a state of when you're in a state of being by yourself but it doesn't necessarily mean that that automatically gets brushed into the side of negativity like i'm by myself right now for the most part but i'm not lonely i'm in solitude i'm okay spending time by myself i'm okay spending time to reflect and gives me ideas for it gives me opportunities to be more creative and you know boost my productivity and just reflect on my own life and decisions i've made in my life so it's not a bad thing being in solitude but it is bad to be lonely so make sure that you're not lonely i'm by myself but i'm not lonely do you know what i mean so yeah man but guys, let's go for a swim, man. At the moment, as I keep saying, I'm staying at my friend's place at the moment, and it's a really beautiful spot, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I'm actually really enjoying using the facilities and staying here. But I think it's time that I start looking for my own spot. Obviously, I've only been here for a few weeks. However, one sec. Yeah, obviously, I've only been here for a few weeks, but, um, you know, I just, I don't like feeling like I'm infringing on someone's space, do you know what I mean? So obviously my boy's got his own routine, his own schedule and stuff, and like, I'm just here, like, squatting in the yard, I don't really... I'm grateful because he could have said, no, don't come. I'm very grateful, he's a top, he's a top guy, man, not gonna lie, it's proper safe. Um, but yeah, I just want to have my own space, so he's put me in contact with his, um, one of his agents that he used to get a property out here. So I'm gonna probably reach out to them later today or tomorrow. Um, you know, just ask them, you know, what properties do they have? Like, look where I am, guys, man. It's proper nice. Um, proper nice, man. The views here are crazy as well. Still doesn't really feel real, for being honest. But with that in mind, I'm grateful, man. Look how beautiful this is. I can just sit here and do get some work done probably gonna chill right here I'm still kind of adjusting to things you know so like It's cold still. Um, I get quite stressed, like, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know, when you are taking such a big risk, that like, I quit my job, launch my own agency, it's a lot of work that I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? Like I said, I don't want to purport a false lifestyle, like I'm out partying every day. That's not me. That's not how I live my life, anyways. Um, but I just feel like there's a lot of weight on my shoulders sometimes. You know. I'm not being negative because I, I love this life, you know, I'm very grateful that I'm even able to do this. I'm not even 22 yet, it's my birthday in three weeks, but like, it should, I have to do it. I have to make it, it has to work, do you know what I mean? So what comes with that is a great deal of inspiration and motivation, but also sometimes it's a bit of a challenge, you know, it's a struggle. Um, a lot of mental strength you have to have to kind of lead this type of lifestyle, but nonetheless, I wouldn't change anything at all, you know? I am in control of my life, I'm fully in control. If I wanna take the rest of the day off, I can do that and chill here. If I wanna go work, I can do that. There's no one telling me, send this email, put this meeting, don't do this, 
do that like i like just being in control byob i have become my own boss so you guys can also be your own boss should you choose you know what i mean i think the main thing that i want to get across to you guys is that you just need to take life into your own hands man i keep saying this but it's so true life waits for no man life waits for no man let's say that i didn't quit my job in central london and i decided to carry on working there they could have decided that they wanted to make me redundant or fire me or reduce my role or whatever it could be. So why am I putting my life, my future, my earning capabilities into the hands of somebody else, guys? Like, when you really think about it, it just doesn't make sense, man. And that's just not me, man. One thing, one thing I have noticed as well so far about being on this kind of nomad journey is that you really just need to set yourself up for success. So like I said, what comes with me not having a boss is I can lie in, but I'm not going to do that because that's not how I choose to live my life. So I've still been getting up early. I've still been setting goals and tasks and making sure that I'm actually getting stuff done, you know? about an hour now just been here swimming thinking deeper life planning my next move because my next move is my best move now I'm gonna hop out hop out the swimming pool um, go back to the apartment change freshen up quick have a coffee order some food feeling a bit lazy chicken and rice um, and then we're gonna lock in man I'm trying to get this course done as soon as possible because I've been getting so many messages on Instagram like I said beforehand people asking me how to do this tell me a story etc so I just want to get this out for you guys as soon as possible man so sometimes you just gotta lock in the for now the next few days fun's over yeah we're locking in we're getting work done doing things like swimming getting my mind right because mentals are important but yeah man we're locking in now we're locking in yo just before we get back into the video, I just want to let you guys know that the things I'm doing, as you can see in the video, you are more than capable of doing it as well by just simply learning how to be an entrepreneur in your corporate job. What happens if you don't commit? You're probably sitting there watching my video right now thinking, damn, I would actually want to be a digital nomad, you know, like I've always wanted to move abroad, etc. But you just don't know how. And the thing is, you want to do it, but you're scared whether or not you should commit. And I'm here to tell you, you need to commit and take action. What happens if you don't? If you don't take action, you're going to still be in your nine to five job that doesn't really fulfill you in the careers block and in the corporate cage being in the careers block means that you're stuck in your job and you just don't know how to ask for a promotion are you someone who's stuck in the corporate cage and you feel like it's just a stagnant job that's not really going anywhere you're just getting money what's the point you need to escape this in order for you to learn how to ask for a promotion and negotiate a fair salary you need to leave the corporate cage if you want to learn skills that you can make independent money from to become a digital nomad and travel the world it is possible i am a living testament of that are you just going to be stuck stuck in a rat race forever, working a boring job that doesn't even fulfill you. Because remember guys, nothing changes if nothing changes. The only difference between me and you is that I left the corporate cage and became a corporate entrepreneur and took action to become a digital nomad. And you can do the same and I will show you exactly how. I've just launched a new digital nomad community called Career Path Plus, where I teach people step by step how to copy the exact same blueprint that I've done that's allowed me to be a digital nomad and leave home to travel the world at 21 years old. By joining the community, you get full access to the free digital nomad resources to help you step by step break down how to become a digital nomad monthly one-to-ones with myself where we can sit down on a call and i can help you leave your corporate job and be a digital nomad and i've just now launched a five hour full digital nomad blueprint where i teach you step by step how i was able to leave my corporate job at 21 years old and travel the world but remember guys nothing changes if nothing changes so it's up to you to take action it's literally less than a nando's guys and the price is going up this is the cheapest cheapest it will ever be so if you're serious and not just a talker scan the link and i'll see you on the other side that was a nice swim man i do like swimming i'm not gonna lie but 
you see back in the UK I hated swimming because it's just cold but now it's like I'm swimming in 34 degree heat so I can't really complain man me I'm the type of person where I'm always give I'm always like giving myself a lot of self-talk so like I'm swimming but in my head I'm thinking about Ra so how are you gonna approach this or you got this man like I just reaffirming things back into myself do you know what I mean like positive self-talk I talk to myself a lot um yeah man I can do anything that I put my mind to in life and so can you I swear down don't allow anyone or anything or any person any entity to doubt you or make you think you can't do anything man any single thing you want to do in life you can do you can do <sighs> yeah guys man I'm feeling good now man that was a good swim it's a good swim skin's dry it was a good swim um now we're gonna go back go back to the AP Get some stuff done, man. I haven't really done too much sightseeing since I've been here. Um, obviously, I was in Patia last week, which was lit. Um, but like I said, this next few days, maybe to a week, I'm just going to be locking in with some work, man. But let me know where I should go for my birthday. It's my birthday in three weeks. I've got the whole of time to explore. Let me know what island you want me to see, what beach I should go check out, or things that you think I should do for my birthday. I'm trying to get lit, I'm not going to lie, man. Back at the AP, back at the apartment. Um, I just ordered food. I'm bare fat. I ordered four portions of fried chicken and rice. It cost me eight pound plus including delivery, so it's not that deep. Um, but I'm just about to make myself a quick coffee and then we're just locking straight in, man. I've got two more frameworks to create. So let's actually have a look. So with this digital nomad course I'm doing, it's a digital nomad blueprint, which entails every single thing I've done in my journey. So working in corporate in central London, how I was able to progress in my own role and how I was able to pitch a new job role to the CEO of my company at the time, work my way up, do international speaking, all that kind of stuff, lead a team, all that kind of stuff, yeah? As well as how you can use the skills that you learn in your corporate job and transition from being an employee to a corporate entrepreneur. So how I was able to use the skills and experience I had in corporate and use that to then go and set up my agency, use that to then build a skill set which I can then use now that I'm a digital nomad. Every step along the way to become a digital nomad from leaving your job, finding accommodation, visa requirements, everything. It's literally an A to Z Every, it's an A to Z blueprint that anyone needs who is looking to actually commit, take that step and do exactly what I've done. Quit your life in your home country and move abroad to a different country, building a skill set, making money online and just figuring shit out. So at the moment, as you guys can see, I've got 234 slides. So like, just know that the value in here is crazy. It's taking about four straight days of just grind to make. Um, I've been working literally all day for the past four days, late night, early mornings, you know how it goes, man. But that's a sacrifice we have to make. On top of that, I've got a different, I've got about five or six different workbooks that I'm going to be providing for you guys as well. So it's got like a premium checklist or the different things that you need to have or think about, um, health insurance, all that kind of stuff, and just getting yourself set up and taking out actual steps and moving abroad. So yeah, man, that's only one of the workbooks. I've got about three more and I've got two or three i'm not sure if we're going to include the third one actual gamified courses so like i said before gamified interactive courses for those of you who think a bit differently like myself and you want something interactive to do and play with on your phone i've got a separate course for that so it covers every single thing and i'm planning on getting this out to you guys as soon as possible so yeah man like i said being a digital nomad it's not just being on a permanent holiday you have to put in the work and if not more work than you would do back at home because back at home while i was in the uk i had a good job lived at my mom's i had a safety net right now i have no safety net so it brings out that that dog in you do you know what i mean it just means that listen you gotta really just get to it and get Get stuff done man so yeah man this is like a day in the life of what i'll be getting up to currently 3 18 p.m i'm probably going to be working till about 10 p.m maybe 11 um and then we'll just see how things go guys man but let me know in the comments what your perspective is so far on digital nomad life i want to document my actual real authentic journey i don't want to be giving away any sucky fluff or stuff that i'm not actually doing I actually preach about stuff i'm actually practicing myself as you can see me putting in the work so yeah guys man but i'm gonna end the video here getting straight back to work make sure you're subscribing to this channel man the more people that subscribe the better the content gets man so see you in the next one we out